More than 100 years ago, thousands of professional and amateur footballers bravely volunteered to join up and go to war. They joined millions of other men and women from across Britain and the Commonwealth, from Asia, Africa, Australasia and the Americas. They came to serve. Many teams suffered terrible losses. Like the heart of Midlovian team, who lost seven players, or Bradford City, who lost nine players. We want to thank every one of those players for what they did. I would like to lead the team in saying a massive thank you to the inspiring women of the First World War generation. You stepped up into roles only men had done, even when many doubted that you could do it. Not only did you make munitions, nurse the troops and feed the nation, you also kept our game alive by making sure that football continued to be played. And you proved that anything a man can do, a woman can do too. And how can we forget you, Lily Parr, star footballer during the First World War, scoring over 900 goals, fantastic achievement throughout your career. Becoming the greatest goal scorer in English history. You showed us that women could strike the ball as well as men. By the end of the war, there were about 150 women's football teams in English football alone. And Lily Parr's team were being watched by 53,000 fans inside Goodison Park. Women like Lily opened up football to half the nation. And then paved the way for women like me, giving us the chance to play the game we love. And helped make it the sport it is today. That is why we want to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the heroic First World War generation who served, sacrificed and changed our whole world. Thank you.